Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. I've got some more wonderful Alice in Wonderland items to share with you. One of them being this cute doll. <laughs> it is a cute Disney doll and I bought her at Marktplaats, the Dutch auction site. Now, um, originally this one has a little tea service with it in the box. A cute little teacups and teapot and... But um, it wasn't with this one. So most of them don't have that tea service. And if you see one, it is pretty expensive. This one was a really nice price that I paid for her and she is so gorgeous. Look at her cute face. I think she's so happy looking. I think she's so cute with a cute little bow and these this cute hair that needs to be styled a bit because I think it's been laying down somewhere. Although it does look really nice from this side. It's very flat when you look at it from this side but and there's always dust in my dolls <laughs> last time as well. Okay. But look at her cute skirt. It is, um, I have no idea how you say that. Oh, this side is satin and this side has all this pearl stuff going on. Pearl stuff going on. I have no idea to say that, but it's shimmery and shiny and uh, I absolutely love it. And uh, her dress is also silk and it looks amazing. And look at this huge bow on the back. I think she is so adorable. And she even has got a little petticoat underneath. It's just so cute. And her shoes are made of silk as well. So it is a very, very cute Alice. And it's a shame I don't have the tea service, but uh, I do have the doll. And you know the tea service is just you have the doll somewhere and then you have a few of those little thingies next to her. So it, it's all about the doll. But for a collector the tea service is interesting. But I'm so happy I at least have the doll. Maybe one day I'll find a set for a really really nice price and then I have two dolls <laughs> so this is gonna she's gonna get a really nice spot in my collection I did buy quite a lot of dolls lately so uh, I think I'm gonna put them all together on a shelf so I want to reorganize my wonderland and maybe we can do that together maybe next week or the week after so um, we'll find out so uh, yeah I was so happy that when she came in the mail and she just looked even better than on the on the pictures because she is so cute so that's number one and then I've got something completely different Ta-da! <laughs> it is the evil red queen I think this is so amazing it is from Miss Mindy the vinyl uh, dolls and you can put her down like this you don't see it but um, when you put her down she stands on these little tiptoes and these two points <laughs> and that's it oops but still <laughs> and uh, she's just gorgeous I do have the Cheshire Cat and Alice of course well those two and then now I have the Red Queen and she's amazing I mean look at her I love the little bun on her top of her head and this cape is amazing with this heart and crown over here and then these red gloves and this really amazing well and here a black glove and it's just really amazing the way this dress looks and she's got a heart scepter is that what you call it and there are hearts everywhere you've got a heart over here a heart over here that's two hearts over there and of course the heart over here and then one on her cheek and even in her eyes she is so gorgeous uh, she's even got heart earrings golden ones of course <laughs> I think she is so cute and she's gonna be so those three together it's gonna be so wonderful so uh, I'm gonna do that too so I, I think I need to show you some of my shelves in my collection room pretty soon because this is gonna be amazing I've waited for this for I think I think I ordered this in November November December January February it's been five months so I was so happy to finally get her and she's even more amazing than on the picture Ah, my neighbors are uh, remodeling, so you hear this quite a lot. <laughs> I'll just stop filming for a second. But isn't she gorgeous? So here's the next item. Actually, I bought two of them and I got some whales for free. <laughs> That's sweet. I bought this on AliExpress and these are little Alice stickers. And I knew they weren't that big, but I didn't know they were this little. But actually, I really like that because usually these things are so big. So there are loads of cute, can you see them? Wait, so. so there are loads of cute Alice in Wonderland pictures in here. <laughs> 
from different books. This is really cute. I have it upside down, I think. <laughs> look at it. These are amazing. Oh, this book I have. It's a cover of a book. And look at this. <gasps> That's cute. And this one. So these are cute. Okay, I'm very happy I bought this. Oh, I love this one. So, yeah, lots of cute stickers from Alice and in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Oh, this is amazing. I love the fact that they are so small, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm going to use these in my... Uh, this one is a bit bigger. In my art journals and stuff. And So I want to use one, like I said, in art journals and... and I don't know, I just want to use one. And I also like to keep one in my collection. That might be a bit weird, but um, on the other hand, why? I do collect stuff like this. And I do collect um, Alice in Wonderland craft supplies and stickers and stuff. I just love it. But I also want to use them, so I buy two. So these are from AliExpress and I'm very happy with them. Yes, took a long time to get here, but well, that's to be expected at the moment. Okay, then I have this thing. It is from 1983, it says over here, and it was 6 euros, although there's a stripe over here. It's probably something else. It has to be something else, because this is for the 150th anniversary of the first publication. So that was, I think, in 2015, if I'm right. First publication was in 1865. I can remember that, because I was born exactly 100 years later, in 1965. So anyway, <laughs> um, so this is something else. Uh, I'm gonna take it out and put it in something else because this doesn't look that nice and I don't think I can take this off. Nope. So I'm gonna put it somewhere else. But it is a really cute Alice in Wonderland stamp from the UK. It is worth three pounds. <laughs> and uh, it is cute Alice with a really weird March hair. <laughs> he's awesome. And uh, he's a bit scruffy looking. I just think he's cute. And then over here you have a really weird Mad Hatter. He's got a teapot on his head. <laughs> and uh, they're having a tea party. Oh, look at the cute Dormouse. I just see that now. <laughs> oh, they're giving him a drop of hot tea. Poor Dormouse. <laughs> it's just a cute uh, stamp. And I do have loads more Alice in Wonderland stamps. So that's becoming a little collection within my collection. And I like it. So here you have the card suits. I really like that. So... Um, I'm gonna leave it in here for now, but I'm gonna take it out and put it somewhere else. So yeah, I, I think I bought this for about four euros or so. I'm really happy with it. I love stuff like that. I also bought a book. Let me show you. I bought this on Marktplatz. It is handmade for dollhouses and stuff. And uh, it is so tiny, I can't even... <laughs> Come on, I can't get it out of the packaging. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I can. It is a cute, teeny tiny Alice in Wonderland book. And it is even Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, I think. It's got real pictures. It's got the story in here. Awesome. It's <laughs> just awesome. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. Now, this is just Alice in Wonderland Through the Looking Glass. It just didn't fit. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? It is the whole story. Well, almost the whole story. I think it's awesome. Oh, it says something on the spine. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And on the cover it also says, and through the looking glass. But that was just a little bit too much to fit in here. Isn't it cute? So someone makes these things for uh, for dollhouses. And I thought, oh, well, let's just get one. It was one euro 25. So with shipping, I think it was uh, about 250. <laughs> cute, right? So I'm going to put this with my books. That's going to be with my books like this. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. <laughs> I was ill for a few weeks, so I've been spending way too much time on the internet, I know. But then you get really nice stuff, because I also found this at Vinted. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better now, so uh, I'm trying not to go on the internet as much as I did, because I did buy quite a lot. But, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. It's so nice to go on the hunt for a collection. So I found this on the Vinted app, and it is a cute Alice. I think I need to put the queen somewhere else. She's just taking way too much attention for herself. So you don't see what I want to show you. Here it is. <laughs> it is a cute Alice on a card. Card. <laughs> it's a playing card she's sitting on, but it has wheels. And she's got cute little Dinah on her lap. Isn't it gorgeous? I have no idea what it is. I thought it was a McDonald's toy. 
let me see. Um, het is imported by B2C. B2C, Alice in Wonderland. Number 10. But I have no idea what it is from. The seller did have loads more uh, of these little cards. Uh, you can put them together and have a whole train. And um, there were lots more of other ones, but I just didn't want them. I just wanted the Alice. And well, she was so friendly to sell uh, this one separately to me. Of course, then it is a bit more expensive than if you would buy the lot, but then I would have lots of these little things I don't need. I can try to sell them again, but I just thought, you know what, I'll just pay a little bit extra because shipping is still seven euros for this thing because it needs to be in a box. This is a really nice video. Just a second. <laughs> oh my goodness, I hope I can edit this so that you don't even notice, but there's someone, uh, like I said, the neighbors are remodeling, so there's uh, hammering, there is sawing, so sawing? Yeah, you know, circle electric saw it makes a lot of noise so when it's quiet i try to film so this is a film in little pieces and then the phone rang anyway it's quiet now so let me show you this <laughs> so uh she ha wait i just now see she's cross-eyed you see that <laughs> okay that's kind of funny she is cross-eyed okay anyway she's got cute little dinah on her lap and it's just so nice that she's on a heart card <laughs> it's really really amazing i just i have no idea what it's from if you know let me know in the comments down below because it looks like a mcdonald's toy but it doesn't say mcdonald's on here so i have no idea but there are loads of them you have goofy you have donald's you have i don't know what uh and then alice so i was so happy i could buy just this one because she is really cute <laughs> And then I have something else to show you. It is totally different again. Well, it is like this for my crafts. Can you see it like this? Well, I'll show you up close. It is a huge Alice in Wonderland head with a cute little face on a little dress. So it is a cute little chibi Alice. You can see these things over here. If you put this face on here, she's got such a cute head. But it's a huge head compared to her body. And uh, that's just an... an uh, an anime TV figure. It's just so cute. It is a um, a die, a die cut, die cut, die. Oh boy, uh, I'm not good with words today. It's maybe because I'm distracted so much. But I thought she was so cute, so I want to try this out pretty soon. Just uh, put this uh, through my big shot and then get these dies, uh, these little bits of paper out. I really am not good with words today. And then try to color it in really cute and then you have a cute Alice. So I bought this also on AliExpress. I ordered this uh, at the beginning of the year before the trouble started so it took a long time to get here but that's okay. And I've also bought this one. So here you have a bit normal Alice because her head is not that big compared to her dress. Just a little. You've got this dress, so, so you've got this cute Alice. Oh, you can give her this dress or this dress. That's really cute. Then you have a Cheshire cat. And uh, I need to figure out how to put them together because I think this is Cheshire and this is his tail and this is his creepy <laughs> head. And uh, you've got these things. I have no idea what it all is, so I need to figure that out. And you've got a mushroom, so you can put Alice on the mushroom. And you've got pockets for Alice, her skirt and a bow. I have never used dies like these, so I'm very curious how, how this works. I really want to know, but I just thought they were just so cute that I, I wanted to buy them. And of course, this one. These are teacups and saucers, and they have the card suits on them. And I just thought that was so cute. So yeah, I bought those two, and I thought, oh, well, then I can buy this one as well. Now, I did buy quite a lot more of these dies. But they're still uh, on the way from, from China. And uh, I did get this one for free. It's a cute little hand. But um, yeah, I'm going to give this away because I don't use this. But really sweet that I put something extra in there. Just like the, the whale stickers. These I can use. But oh well. But it is so sweet that they put something extra in there. So I've got these really cute dies. And can't wait to do something with it. Like I said, I've never done this before, so that's going to be a challenge because um, maybe some of you, or a lot of you, have made loads of cards with, with dies, but I hardly ever use dies, so it's going to be exciting. Okay, then I have some cards that I bought. 
on Marktplaats again. I saw these cards, they were 130 each, so that was not expensive. And in the Netherlands you just can't get Alice in Wonderland cards. So these are Macmillan Alice, it's all by Macmillan. And um, I've, I've never seen them in the Netherlands. So I thought, hmm, we're going to the UK this summer, if we are going, it's just wait and see. But the person that sold this had so many of these cards that I thought, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself. Yeah, didn't treat myself at all lately. <laughs> so I asked if I buy uh, 10 or 15, can I get a bit of a discount? So I got them for 115 each. So that was really sweet. So I've got the night. <laughs> I love this part of uh, Through the Looking Glass. And I bought actually almost everything is from Through the Looking Glass because it's always Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get some of Through the Looking Glass. So these are the drums. And then I have the lion and the unicorn. Well, the unicorn is all the way over here. <laughs> the Mad Hatter and the March Hare. No, this is not the March Hare, but it is a... Um, I don't know how to say that. Anyway, another scene. You have the king over here from Through the Looking Glass. And here you have the king and... What's he? The messenger. Oh, well. <laughs> And here you have Alice climbing through the uh, through the mirror. Really awesome. These are really nicely colored as well. Here have you. Here have you. Here you have the Red Queen. <laughs> I love the way Alice looks. This is gorgeous. And <laughs> the white and the red. Um, I don't know what they're called. Chess pieces. Horsemen. And then this, this is just, do I have it the right way up? Yes. The king's um, ho king's horses and the king's men tumbling over each other. <laughs> really, really. <laughs> it's so funny. The Jabberwocky. Wow. So, like I said, these are just amazing cards. I've never seen these. Look at this one. So I did buy, I think, 15 of them. Uh, ooh, the Tweedledees, uh, the Tweedledee, Tweedledum, the Tweedles. <laughs> they're they're kind of creepy. <laughs> And here you have the same one, but then in color. And I think this is really awesome the way this looks. Let's keep it apart so I can show you them both. This one is amazing as well. And then these weird animals. <laughs> I just think this is cute. This one is from Alice's Adventure uh, in Wonderland. But I just, I just love this little thing, this picture. I love it so much because most of the time, or a lot of the times, uh, artists just put something else behind the curtain. So I do have a t-shirt with this picture on it and then she opens the curtain and you see the TARDIS of Doctor Who. And <laughs> I absolutely love it. <laughs> and here you have the White Queen. She looks like she doesn't really know what's going on anymore. <laughs> and Humpty Dumpty. And then this one again. And look at these two. I mean, isn't it awesome? I love this so much. So yeah, I was so happy I got these. I've got loads and loads of Through the Looking Glass cards. So I'm gonna put these with all of my other greeting cards and that's just amazing. I'm so happy I got this. So I've got one more item. Let me just put this all aside. So guys, for this next item, I cleared my desk because it is just so gorgeous. Um, when I got this beautiful queen in the same package, I got another figurine. Um, I pre-ordered this one and I also pre-ordered this one and it is finally here. Look how gorgeous this is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, I just, I was so happy when I opened this. When I first saw it, I thought, well, that's easy. Just don't paint it, you know, paint it uh, white or what is it, beige. And then just paint it a little bit. That's easy. And the backside is not that interesting for a Jim Shore figurine. This is actually really simple because usually it has all kinds of swirls over here. But it is a mushroom, so this is a bit boring to look at. But of course, you need to look at this side. Look how gorgeous it is. And it is a uh, Whimsy and Wonder showcase collection by Disney Traditions. So it's from Jim Shore. And what was the name? Is this the Woodlands collection? Well, I'm not really sure. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's just gorgeous. Look at Cheshire Cat. <laughs> I just think he is so amazing. And I love the fact that this is purple. Usually it's bright pink, but over here, Cheshire is purple and it looks really nice with the rest of the figurine. And then you have the white rabbit in his cute waistcoat with his huge pocket watch. You can even see a little chain over here. 
I just think he's so cute. He looks very shocked. He's late, he's late. And then over here you have all those Tim Shore swirls everywhere on the mushroom and everywhere. So it's just, you really need to look at the front of this thing. And I think it's gorgeous. <laughs> and uh, of course, on top of the mushroom, you have Alice. And look how cute she is. I just adore this cute face. She is so gorgeous, so sweet. And I just love the colors so much. It's so subtle. Um, when I look, first looked at it, I thought, whoa, that's, that's a bit too subtle. I mean, they just went over it with a bit of green and here a little bit of blue and wow. But it's, you know, it grows on you. It's, it's a bit like the all the Jim Shores figurines. At first, I really didn't like them. I didn't like these swirls and that it looked like it was made out of wood, but it isn't. And But now I just adore it i love them it needs to grow on you and with this is the same when i bought this so that was uh in, in november i think when i pre-ordered it and i saw the pictures i thought it is really simple do i really want this because this is just well not a lot of work in here but there is a lot of work in here and it's not about how much work it is and how much paint work it has or and so but it is just how gorgeous is it? And it is gorgeous because her face looks so much more gorgeous. <laughs> um, how do I say that? You, because the rest is very subtle and pastel. Her face just pops. You just need to look at that face and then you just have to smile. It's just so cute. And look at cute Dinah. I mean, isn't that just gorgeous? So, like I said, took a bit of getting used to, but now I love the fact that it has some subtle blue over here and subtle green and it's just it's just gorgeous i think it's gorgeous and i love the fact that she's sitting on one knee first i thought wait that's just one leg what's going on but then i saw now she's sitting on one knee so she's got her leg behind her and uh over here is her foot but you don't see it because it's it's over here so i love the fact that the dress over here just you know um goes a bit like this because her foot is underneath <laughs> It's really cute. It's just a really cute pose and I absolutely love this figurine. So I was so happy that I got this and of course also the Red Queen. I also ordered a um, salt and pepper shaker set. It is the Cheshire Cat and um, one part is his body and he's holding his head and his head is the other part. So, uh, But they only had one left and there were new ones coming. but might take a while but the one that was left was broken when i ordered it so um i did pay for it but i didn't get it but as soon as he gets a new one in i'm gonna get a new one so that's really nice i bought these at neverland you can see that because of this <laughs> this is their sticker they put on underneath uh, figures like this because then you can see you bought it at neverland neverland.nl guys they have such awesome awesome items so i am still waiting on a um salt and pepper shaker set of the Cheshire Cat so uh <laughs> but because they are remaking it so it might take a while and uh but I have patience because then I have something else in a few weeks or well hopefully not months <laughs> time um this like I said I ordered in November so it took a long time for it to get here but now I got it and I'm extra extra happy because I knew I was getting it but I just didn't know when and ta-da <laughs> <laughs> I like stuff like that. So I know there's still a package to come with a, a salt and pepper shaker. It's really fun because I was thinking, what is it called in English? Because in Dutch it's paper and zout. Stelletje. So you've got pepper and salt uh, shakers. And, but in English it's the other way around. Funny. It's just funny. Okay, has nothing to do with this, but it's funny. So there's still something else to come. So... Um, I've got this cutie, I've got this cutie, and I've got this one. If you know where this is from, or is it just a toy that's just a set of Disney characters and this is just one of them, but it looks like something McDonald's could make. I've got this cute, cute doll, I'm so happy with her. And then of course this amazing huge book. <laughs> and my new Alice in Wonderland uh, stamps, and lots of stickers, and of course, loads of through the looking glass cards and then ooh, this sounds awful my Alice in Wonderland dies I just look at it oh my gosh I just love this so I'm gonna 
uh, put these in my collection room. I've been wanting to put a lot of stuff in my collection room, but I just didn't have the energy for it. So I've got piles of stuff I still need to find a spot for. So maybe we can do it together. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Um, of course, I would love to know what you like best of all of this. Uh, it's hard to show you. I'm going to leave her like this. Uh, I think this is... Uh, these three. These four. Th these are the best. I love this one so much. But this is so cute. And this is so... I had never seen it. I love it. And she is gorgeous. And the rest is fun. But these, this is gorgeous. <laughs> Let me know what you think is gorgeous. So that's it for today, guys. You know, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. Hit the notification bell and please leave a comment down below. I always love to read your comments. And, um, well, that's it for today. I already said that. <laughs> okay. All that's left to say is... Groetjes uit Wonderland. Greetings from Wonderland. Bye.